Hey Meeple people, and on today's vlog, we're gonna be looking at a Kindly World card game. This is a Kickstarter that uh, we recently backed and now we're gonna go ahead and play it. So let's get into it. So Sarah's going to explain a little bit about the game to us. Uh, so you you ready, Sarah? I'm ready. Hi, everybody. So this is a kindly world. It is a two to four player game. Um, and in it, we are attempting to collect seven different item types um, or get the uh, particular objective of a roll card that we required met. And if we can do either one of those things before the end of the game, then we win. Um, so the rules are slightly different for a three or four player game than they are for a two player game. I'm just going to talk about the two player uh, rules today. Um, you'll get a basic overview of how the game works, but it is a little bit different in a two player game than a three or four. So to start the, the two player game, we're going to shuffle all the cards together except these Tree of Light cards. There are three um, sort of regular Tree of Light cards and then there's one last tree of light card. We're going to shuffle this last tree of light card into the bottom 10 cards of the deck and the remaining three into the remainder of the deck. And then we're going to stack the remainder of the deck on top of the bottom 10 cards so that these three cards will come out intermittently throughout the game. And this card won't come out until sometime in those last 10 cards. So we're going to pretend like we've done that. Uh, what a player does on their turn is they are going to, we'll start the game with this top card of the deck revealed right here. And what a player is going to do on their turn is they're going to push this card out into like the fields over here. And then they're going to immediately turn over the next top card of the player deck. And what we're trying to do here is get cards out into the field that don't have a matching card, the, the card on top of the deck. So in this case here, I know this looks a little odd, but this is a seven. I've revealed a seven in the field. And then on top of the card deck, I've revealed a nine. So I don't have any matches here. I'm good for right now. If I wanted to push, I could. So I'd put this nine out into the field, then I'd have to reveal the top card of the deck. If at that point it was either a seven or a nine, then I would bust. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to continue my turn. I'd have to discard all the cards out in the field and it would be my opponent's turn. However, if I wanted to take the cards in the field, as long as I haven't busted, I could do that. So right now, if I want to, I could take this seven and I could put it in my sort of tableau, or I could push this nine out here and hope that I don't turn over a seven or a nine. There are seven sevens and nine nines, and there are this number of that card throughout most of the game, although I believe based on how I understand the rules, that there's actually 16 number eight cards, not eight. So in this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and push, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and reveal this next card here. So this is a six, it's not a seven or a nine, so I'm still safe. I could take these two cards and put them in my tableau if I want to, or I could keep pushing. I'm gonna go ahead and keep pushing because I set up this example and I know what's gonna happen next. All right, so in a two player game, we shuffle these roll cards into the deck. Uh, like I said, a three, four player game, this is a little bit different, but for a two player game, we actually shuffle these roll cards into the deck here, and these can be pushed out into the field and collected as well. This is an alternative way to win. So I either have to collect one of each of these item types, so one of each of the numbers here, or I have to meet the conditions of any rolls that I've acquired. So uh, the way that it works is because no trees of light have been revealed yet, this roll card is going to go uh, out into the field if I decide to push, which again, I set up the example, so I'm going to go ahead and do. So I push this roll card out here, I don't reveal it just yet, um, and then I immediately turn over the next card. Now this is an 8, again I haven't met an 8 out here in the field yet, so I haven't busted. I'm going to go ahead and acquire these cards because I want to know what that roll card is. So I'm going to go ahead and end my turn, I'm not going to push anymore, I'm going to end my turn, I'm going to take these cards into my field, I'm going to put my 9, my 7, and my 6 over here. Now I'm a little bit uh, closer towards an end game condition if I'm able to collect all of the numbers then that's one way for me to win. But another way for me to win would be now to achieve whatever this goal card says. Now, normally I would get to keep this a secret for a little while, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it is. This one is Mr. Pumpkin. He's adorable. Uh, Mr. Pumpkin's win condition is that if I collect two of one type of card, two of another type of card, and then three of a third type of card, then I win the game. 
So I've got some, some cards over here. If I manage to collect what Mr. Pumpkin is asking for, then I will win the game if no one else has done so. Since I stopped pushing on my turn, then it's going to be my opponent's turn. And they'll just do the exact same thing. They'll put cards from the top of the deck into the fields here uh, until they either bust or until they want to stop. And at that point, they'll either collect the cards or if they've busted, we'll just discard them all. Um, and play will continue until either a player has met the win condition of one of their collected roll cards or until uh, a player has collected the full set of seven object types that we're looking for, or if we uh, happen on that fourth and final tree of light card. Um, once a if no other player has won before that, uh, a player who stumbles onto the last tree of light card finishes their turn, and if they haven't won by the end of their turn, uh, then the game ends, and the player who's collected the most trees of light cards uh, will win the game. So that is kind of a quick overview of a kindly world. Um, I love the artwork. It is just adorable. Um, and it's a pretty basic game. There's not a ton of player agency. You're kind of just turning over these cards and, you know, deciding if you're going to push your luck or not. Um, but it was really fun. We played a couple of times now and it, it's just kind of fun. Uh, it's very simple. That's not, um, you know, very demanding or anything like that. It's just casual push your luck game. Uh, and I think it's just stupid adorable all right well let's go ahead and jump into it this is a, this is a pretty cute game but yeah we'll come back probably somewhere about mid game and see where we're at and uh we'll talk more about it but yeah see you guys in a sec so uh we either there what there wasn't a mid game uh because the uh the game ended pretty quickly and uh, I, I usually lost like all our practice games, but apparently right now I, uh, it's, it's not the fact, which is uh, always how it works. For some reason, I turn on the camera and I win. And when I turn off the camera, I lose horribly. So, uh, so how how how's it over there, Sarah? Yeah. So over here, we pushed our luck too often and too hard, and I only ended up with three cards. Uh, I had a white eight, a black six, and a black five. Um, and so I was kind of on my way to getting, you need seven different cards. So I was like halfway there. Uh, but Nick had a, quite a nice collection of cards. Um, and in addition, in addition to being a lot further along towards, uh, getting seven different cards, he also pulled a unique roll card, which said that if he could acquire three different cars, then he would win. And he just happened to already have um, three different cars when he pulled that card. So doing that, pulling that card, like meant that he automatically won the game. Um, so yeah, that was the, that was the dandy. Um, yeah, pushed too luck, too hard. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do? So that was the game. Uh, do you want to play again, Sarah? I would like to play again. It's a really cute game. It's and a really it's very cute, quick and fun and simple. Yeah, it's a cute game. It's simple. It's fast. So we're gonna get in another round and uh, just stay along for the ride. All right, people, people, we're back, and I pulled the win again. But it was very a uh, uh, nail biter this time because Sarah had six as well and there's seven different types you have to collect so uh what do you think about the second go around time sarah yeah it's fun um i think that it really changes uh things when you get the roll cards because there are things like uh, for example like this one was um if you collected two of the trees then you would win um, and like, there's another one that says if you collect, uh, two pairs of cards and then a set of three of the same card, then you win. So it changes the game from being, um, you know, a set collection game where you're like looking for, um, seven different types of cards to like, okay, I'm looking for these specific things, you know? Um, so those roll cards, you're kind of just trucking along until you get one of those roll cards. And then you're like, okay, well, how can I manipulate this roll card into my existing hand already to try to, you know, get a faster way to win? Um, so I think that the, the roll cards are definitely, um, 
a, a good addition to the game. Um, and I think that the game itself is so cute. I just, I'm so in love with all the artwork. Um, and I like that it's simple, but still fun. And there's still just a little bit of strategy in there. Um, so yeah, I like it. I think it's really cute. What do you think, Nick? Uh, the push your luck aspect of this was very, uh, like th there was the most strategy because you were really trying to push it. Like during our practice games, I'd keep pushing it and keep busting all the dang time. And I thought like I would get reward for my efforts, but it just, it didn't work out that way. But once you kind of got the strategy for that and you really, uh, you know, you took maybe just a card or two, uh, you started to get more of like, okay, well, you know, there's, I have more of a chance now, at least of winning. And especially when the roll cards come out, those are definitely some changes to the game where you can go ahead and, uh, um, like there was one time I pulled a roll card and I already had its, uh, I met its requirements. So I won. I was like, okay, woo, hey. So it's just that's you, it's really that patience in this game, uh, is the big key factor here is because, you know, or unless you get lucky and you push a bunch and you just get a bunch of cards. But yeah, this is a, I like this a little, little game. And plus it comes in this nice little, uh, cute box. It's just, that's just like a little book. It's a little book. And we did a Kickstarter on this. So it was just, it was, it was very cool and very you know, unique. It was, uh, uh, I think this was Japan I'm or sure. it was, it's it was an Asian, Asian, cul yeah, Asian, Asian culture. Game. And, uh, we, we saw it and we were just like, this seems really cute. And we got it and it was just like, it, it was just, it was a lot of fun. And it's a little book too. So you can like, after you take this off, it opens up and stores the game. And it's a small, I think they're coming out with a series. I'm not very sure, but I'm just very excited to see if there's going to be more of it. And we got the uh, manga version of this, but uh, we thought it was going to be like a book, but it ended up being just a PDF. But we're still really excited about it. Just very cute, very simplistic artwork and just something that where uh, we uh, can't, well, I can't wait to read it, but um, I'm not sure about Sarah. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. The characters in the series seem um, really cute and friendly. Uh, and overall, there's a very sort of innocent feeling um, towards, um, or this feels, you know, like everything in this universe is very innocent and very, um, I don't know, very light, I guess. Yeah, light's a good word. Um, and I, I, I like that. Sometimes it's nice to have things that aren't, you know, so heavy and um, so realistic. Drama! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that was our vlog for a, let me see, oh, there we are, a Kindly World card game. And uh, we'll leave a, hopefully there's a Board Game Geek link to this game. We'll leave that in the description. And again, if you are not subscribed to Meeple's on the Ground, get subscribed. Keep up to date on all of our content. Well, until next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Toodles!